So today, Lauren Boebert was on Steve Bannon's War Room podcast, and she's not real happy, folks. She's not happy because, take a look at this article from Newsweek, Lauren Boebert gets put in a terrible, terrible position. Just came out today. And it's all because Ken Buck, Congressman Ken Buck of Colorado District 4, has decided to retire months earlier than was originally thought. So this is actually, I think, a very well-written article. So I just want to take a minute and it'll help you understand, you know, her, her squirming, her disdain, her dysfunction, and all of this. So it says, Representative Lauren Boebert faces a tricky decision following the surprise announcement that Representative Ken Buck of Colorado will be retiring next week, months earlier than he initially planned. And it just goes into the fact that uh, he's represented Colorado's 4th District since 2015, had previously announced plans to retire from the House of Representatives at the end of his current term in January, which would have been perfect for Boebert. Bobert, who has represented the state's third district since 2021, announced in December that she would be seeking the 2024 GOP nomination for Buck's district instead of her current district after concerns mounted about her re-election odds in Colorado District 3. Things weren't going too good for her. So it says, however, on Tuesday afternoon, Buck made the shock announcement that he accelerated his retirement plans considerably and would now be departing office at the end of next week. Speaker of the House Mike Johnson told reporters that the news came as a surprise to him. He will now be overseeing a remarkably slim GOP majority of 218 to 213 until a special election is held to fill Buck's seat, as is required by Colorado law for vacancies more than 90 days before a general election. So Bobert also faces this, folks, a tough decision now about whether to stay the current course, pursue GOP nomination, and contend for the seat in the general election or enter the special election, which she answered that question actually on Steve Bannon's podcast today. As highlighted by ex-user Aaron Frischner and former GOP Congressman Adam Kinzinger, if Bobert were to enter the special election, she would have to give up her current seat in the 3rd District, creating a new seat vacancy requiring another special election and run the risk that she might lose after doing so. So by resigning early, Ken Buck is giving an advantage to anyone. But Lauren Boebert, King Kinzinger wrote, she cannot run in the special election since she already occupies a seat. So another person will be elected to serve out the term and it won't be Lauren. Very smart. So, um... The article also says, were Boebert to stay the current course, she would run into the general electoral trend that incumbents are heavily favored to win re-election. No matter how little time they have served in office, the congresswoman's attempt to win the 4th district nomination has also struggled with voters there expressing displeasure. (laughs) So here she was. She's on Steve Bannon's show, and this is what she had to say. This is so, so Steve, screwball that so Steve, nobody what, can what understand they, it. What why, they why are they doing do, this? What, what they can do and what I believe is the establishment party's, uh, uh, the establishment's intent is one of my 10 opponents in this primary race can be nominated for the special election. And then they can run in both the special election and the primary election. So Mm -hmm. they would um, have the ability to double fundraising, have two different accounts where they're raising campaign donations into, and and also gain that runway and be able to tout that they're the nominee and all of this stuff, I'm the chosen one. I'm not participating in their special election. Mm. I am not offering my name um, as, uh, as an option. I'm not uh, leaving my constituents in the third district i'm not triggering a second special election in the third district i am re- so it's interesting that she says she's not leaving her constituents in the third district but yet she is ultimately she's trying to go to district four does that make any sense folks i'm not going to leave you but i'm leaving you <laughs> okay okay whatever you say meaning as the Congresswoman in Colorado three, and I am going to win this primary. But this is why I need the posse's help. This is why I need everyone's help because they are going to start pouring money into their chosen candidate. And this will be a very establishment Ukraine first candidate that they are picking up. You can see the endorsements behind the Uniparty and many of the vacancy committee. As if it's terrible to fund Ukraine. My God, they're they're fighting Russia for us, you dimwit. 
senators uh, already. You have uh, former Senator Cory Gardner, who has endorsed a Ukraine opponent, uh, Ukraine first opponent good. of mine. Good. And, uh, you know, Ken Buck is good friends with him. And so their what? fundraisers all work together. And who cares? So this is already <laughs> setting the stage for one of my opponents to run in both elections. And that's why I need the grassroots to help me so they don't get any runway. We expose their uh, th this concoction that they came up with. We expose concoction? that they are rigging an election. Oh, and now it's a rig. Oh, they now now it's a rigged election. Right, Bobert? They, okay. I mean, everything that they've done, he retires early and it becomes a rigged election. Ken Buck retires. Oh, I get it. Okay. It always goes back to that, doesn't it, folks? their special election whatever ken buck screwed the fourth district i'm so sorry about that very he did selfish. not he's retiring but i'm going to win the primary and actively Ooh. work uh, are you to, mad to serve eastern colorado and uh, and represent them in the next congress i think sunshine's a little little dim here today it's a little cloudy there with lauren bobert she's mad i mean it's he screwed the fourth district because he wanted to retire i mean is everything supposed to work out for her and if not, it's a rigged election, folks. I guess that's the way it goes. Too bad. So sad, Lauren Boebert.